Virginia has a very long history with hurricanes, but it's rare for one to actually make landfall on our coastline first. In the past 100 years, only five tropical systems have directly come ashore between Virginia Beach and Assateague Island, and they aren't household names because they were rather weak. None of them arrived as hurricanes. The most recent Virginia landfall was Tropical Storm Danielle in 1992. Before that, we had Dean and Brett in the 1980s, Doria in 1967, and another storm in 1943. Why such a short list? Because tropical storms are usually moving toward the north or northeast once they reach Virginia's latitude, where we have prevailing westerly winds aloft. The Outer Banks? just jut farther out to the east than we do. So for a storm coming up at us from the south, the angle usually works out to where it will slam into some part of North Carolina first on its way into Virginia, or curve away entirely. The storms that did make landfall on the eastern shore were traveling to the northwest or west, which is a less common route. And that can happen when high pressure is centered over the northeast U.S. or northwestern Atlantic instead of its typical home over the middle of the ocean. So in that case, the clockwise flow around the high could steer a storm right at us. We know from past experience that landfall is just a technicality when it comes to our danger level here. Every time Virginia dealt with full-blown hurricane winds like Isabel or Floyd, the eye made landfall in North Carolina first, then traveled inland. And a storm isn't just a single point or a line on a map. Many of our worst floods were the remnants of hurricanes that hit the Gulf Coast like Camille or Juan. So even though a hurricane has never officially made landfall in Virginia in the modern era of weather records, there have probably been some in the past. And we can't let our guard down because someday one could very well take aim right at Virginia Beach. But most of the time, geography and weather patterns will make it much more likely for our neighbors to the south to be in the eye of the storm.